What's up guys, welcome to your 158th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically set up our handling XML stuff class. Because again, we set some sort of content handler to basically do the work or kind of handle the method that we want it to do. Um, and that's what that class is pretty much going to do. Um, don't get confused by handler or anything like that. Um, all it's saying is, you know, we have this class that we want to handle the work or do the work. So we're going to set that up. And again, as we scroll over here, you can just see it needs some sort of a content handler. So this class has to be some sort of a handler. But as for now, it's nothing. So it's giving us an error here. So let's jump over to our handling XML stuff class. And all we're going to do is say extends default handler. And then we just have to import that, Control Shift O, and uh, let's just check out some of the classes or some of the methods that we can use for this class. I should say, over source override implement methods, and here's all of our methods for a handler or a default handler, such as start document, end document, and uh, most importantly, we're just looking for certain elements like the city or the temperature. So we're going to work with this start element and we're just going to hit OK and it adds our method for us and just the just to briefly talk about the important aspects of what's being passed in we have a string called local name and that's basically going to be if we switch over here that's going to be these call tags here like forecast information or city or postal code or temp f for Fahrenheit um, so that's what our, our local name is going to be and then what our attributes, this fourth parameter, um, what that's going to be is uh, this call or this call to action, this data. And pretty much all of them are the same data. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Those are the two things that we're going to use with this tutorial. So let's just get started. We're going to delete this super uh, method there. And all we're going to say is if local name which again is the name of our second parameter that's being passed in so we're gonna say local name and we're gonna say if this is again we have to compare strings so we're gonna say dot equals two and then we can say something like city so we're gonna use city if that's equal to city uh, all we're gonna do is set up a string called city and we're gonna set this equal to our attributes that's being passed in we're just gonna copy that and the specific attribute that we're looking for is again uh, called data so if you know this is a different reference but for the most part it's all the same again we have our local name here and our attribute here so we have to define our attribute to equal uh, data for the most part and then it's going to return this value of Lincoln Nebraska or whatever the person searched for so we're going to have say our attributes dot get value of the index which was data so again that this string city is just going to be equal to Lincoln Nebraska or whatever city they top, typed in and then all we're going to do is pass in some information to our data collected class so we need to set up a data collected type variable so we're just going to set that up above here um, we're just going to say again our class name which was XML data collected and we're just going to call this info we're going to set this equal to a new XML data collected. And I'll explain this a little bit further in the next tutorial, uh, what's actually happening. But, you know, just as for now, we have this variable called info. And then all we're going to do is we're going to set up this string, or we're going to pass in the information uh, of this string to that class. So we're going to say info dot set city we're going to call this city um, again that's a method we set up in that class and we're just going to refer to our string that we have here called city then we just have to say else if and again I'm just going to copy this format here and paste it and we're going to say instead of city we're going to say temp underscore F 
and we're going to change this method, the info, to dot set temp called uh, temp maybe, and we're just going to set this variable equal to temp for a string. And again, all we're doing here is oh, and this has to be integer. So all we have to do now is convert this string reference into integer. So we're actually going to call this string t, and then we're going to convert uh, an convert it into an int. So we're going to say int uh, temp is equal to integer dot parse int, and uh, that's just going to parse information into an integer again, convert it into an int, and we have to refer to our string name, which we called t. So now we're setting the temperature variable as well. Again, all we did is we referred to the local name. If it's temp f, we're gonna you know see the data of that and get the value of that data key reference, and then just convert it into an int so it works with our method that we created called set temp. And just to show you guys again here, um, this is the name that we're looking for, and this is again called data, so we don't have to change that second reference of data. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one where we're going to explain a little bit more of what we've done. And I'll see you then. Have a good one.